I was even waiting for it. It still scared me. You know your sniffles and stuff during the intro come through, so they're like. Oh, does it? That's all right. You can hear all that. Sniffly. What can I say? It's it's a good way to start the show for people. Right. Not here right now, which Mm. no one's here right now yet. But for watching it on demand. They'll hear that. I'm here for the sniffles. The Hope sniffles. you are too. Sniffle, sniffle. Sorry, it's that time of year, man. I it's hate the spring and I hate the fall. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Legends House, episode 941 of NAW. We're live, season three, episode five of Legends House. That's very exciting for anybody. <laughs> Is well, it? I don't know. Because I don't think there's anybody even here yet to be excited. So. No, I'm posting on social media that we're live. We're live a little early. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You can get started if you want. Theo actually went down for bed at a decent time. He did. So. You can get started. What's up, MMJ? Okay, we can start now. Uh, <clears throat> MMJ is here. Oh, hello! We're allowed to start now. Okay, hold on. Well, hold on, what are you doing? I'm posting that we're live. Oh. Is that okay with you? Yeah. God, he's so bossy. How What's do you up, guys Marita? listen to him every week? The favorite ex stuff. I, I don't know how they do it. What? Oh, we had one unfollow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, we how, how do you know? Because we were at 1958, but now we're at 1957. Oh, they, saw, they saw my face and they were like, nope, not today. Man. It's all right. I get it. Plus, let's be honest. We're trying to get to 2,000, guys. That's backwards. I don't know if we're going to make it. Did I spell that right? I don't know. Yeah, how dare they not be found? If you guys, I don't know, create. Let's see, how many do we need? There's a sub, John. Thank you for the sub. How we? How many? How close are we? Yeah. See, we had so many unfollow. I wish they could show us. We need 43. So if you guys could create 43 fake accounts, <laughs> we will hit our goal. I mean, everybody else using bots. So what the fuck? Why not? Why not? All right. Did we put so and so in the box? We did. All right. Yeah. Boss is in the box. Reaper Rewards Week 1. Over the centuries, my memory has started to grow foggy. I've heard rumblings about a special dish called Ambrosia that could jeopardize my job. Complete the Assistant to the Grim Reaper and a call away quest to help me understand it. Wow, there's a lot of new stuff in this game. I'm going to need to play it some more. <laughs> None of this stuff was here. 26 months for Garmer. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a good idea for Garmer, though. I should have him complete the quest so that he's the assistant to the Grim Reaper. (laughs) I mean, it makes sense. Order a starter flower seed pack. Ask three sims about Ambrosia. How do I order? Um, He wants to know what the quest is. X Factor, thank you. It's to become the assistant to the Grim Reaper. That's what the quest is. We got a hype train going. Look at that. Oh, hey. I love starting off with the hype train. That's exciting. Pizza though. delivery, Zoomer's food delivery. So that's not it. I don't know how to order a flower seed pack. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, I'm just the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper's my bitch. <laughs> Oh, well, maybe you'll be the Grim Reaper's bitch. Who already failed? <laughs> Me, because I don't know how to order the seat pack. Oh. I'm wondering if I have to, like, get gardening skills first. Does it tell you how to do that? Purchase a starter flower seed packet from the activities and skills sections in build mode. Or order interaction on a computer. Okay, alright. That I can do. He is Gardener. All that's right. what the, that's how they announce his name, remember? We gotta ask three sins about Ambrosia. Ask about Ambrosia. Who else is here right now? No one's even here. Can you ask a bunch of strangers about Ambrosia? What's good, John? Gardening is essential <laughs> skill, probably. Is it? Do they have to skill up or not? Order. Let me do it. Zap and There's the seeds. Starter flower seed pack, right? Yep. Yes. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, and then he has a. Oh, look, there's more stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, let's ask this creepy creeper about Ambrosia. Oh, why is he walking like that? I don't know. Room introduction. You, this room. you just got done watching Blood and Honey 2. How bad was it? That Winnie the Pooh horror thing. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, probably they're stomping into the house. Boy, Yarba. Ready for a rude <gasps> introduction. Is this is funny. Yeah, the way people walk this season, I don't know what's going on with that. I don't either. It's funny, though. You fell asleep till the end. It was that bad, huh? Jeez. Vasa is currently... Yes, he should miss his work. He's gonna miss work. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What's up, Miss for the Moon? Oh, we can get viewers on. Star, star, star. Oh, Amazing. I love it when I can get viewers on Star, star, star. I thought I told you We are totally into bots and free fake viewers. So I get it. I get it. No, definitely bots. All the bots. Did someone get them? Oh, someone got you it. You say 8 p.m.? Hey, we, uh, he said yay viewers. Yeah, DC, we're buying viewers now. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. And bots. <laughs> Love um, me. Yeah, Spirit no, uh, the kids, we wore them down this weekend. They had another busy weekend. Uh, we had three soccer games. We had a tournament weekend. <laughs> We had another birthday party weekend. They went bowling. I wrangled, I don't know how many, seven and eight-year-olds. A lot. So I was... There was at least, what, six on each screen? So yeah. there was 12 of them? So I wrangled kids to keep them in, in order for bowling. So that was fun. Yeah, he was, he was playing the uh, good dad this weekend. Good dad, good uncle. Good I mean, uncle. nobody else stepped up, so <laughs> <Good uncle. laughs> I was like, <laughs> they were just willing to let the chaos be chaos. You were not. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. It was I can't. Funny. And I didn't know any of the adults, so I was like, fuck it, I'll just socialize with kids. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> I don't want to socialize with adults. <laughs> kids had fun though. They did. They had a blast. Atticus was a was a bit emotional. My but... my favorite of my two favorite nieces. Like they're both my favorite. I shouldn't say there's one that's favorite. I was going to say, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're both. But <laughs> he doesn't normally play good dad. Normally, it, not that he doesn't play good dad, but in social situations with strangers, it's not his um, forte. Normally, it's not my comfort. he hides in the corner and doesn't talk to anybody. So the fact that he was like standing. He was literally standing down by like where the balls come out, helping every single kid bowl. It was adorable. He, he was just, all the kids were like having so much fun with him. It was really cute. My youngest niece kept asking for like advice on bowling and we kept getting her spares and like she was having a blast. She had second place in the game. I don't know if you noticed that. She did, yeah. Her and Theo were the best and they were the youngest. Like she's only four, five, five, five. Now. And Theo's. No, she's four. She's four. She's four. She's the five. Yeah, they was five, and like they beat everybody else. It was really cute. Yeah. Granted, they were using the little ball, the, little, the rails. Yeah, the rail where you can like move it and just send the ball down the thing. But I mean, I don't even know that Ivy could have picked up a seven-pound ball. She picked it up and put it in there. But could she have chucked it down the lane? She could have, but she wanted advice on where to put it and yeah. why it went certain ways. Yeah, so I was it was really about how cute. it spins. You got to go to the left because it favors the right. It, so. it was cute. Yeah, he was having a good time. All the kids did. They all had fun. It was absolute and utter chaos, but they had fun. <laughs> and we had emotional breakdowns afterwards. We yeah, did, was, but yeah. it happens. It's okay. And then Atticus mowed the lawn today. He got more chore money. Oh, I gotta add that to his allowance money. I forgot. Oh, I know that's what you guys come here for. Hear about our, our family weekends. Yeah. <laughs> You prefer to hang out with little kids rather than regular humans. I'm, I'm telling you, like hanging out with the kids. I think I had more fun hanging out with the kids than I would have like tried to, I really think to fake did. socialize yeah. with adults. Yeah. Because it would have been like, yo, you of them football, bro. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> not my thing, not my thing. I don't know. I'm just a big little kid. <laughs> it's true. You are. What is this? What is what? This is the back of the Wii. Oh. Why is it there? We're not the Wii, the Switch. Why is it there? Because they had a HDMI cord plug in. We were playing the uh, games the last time. Got it. Why is Icon always sad? Because you guys are gunning for him to get out of this house, and I don't understand why. He was the most excited for this season, and you guys want him out of here. I've noticed that Brit and... 
um, icon are the ones that are the most sad about the deaths. So I don't know if that has to do with like what I gave them for their their like Grubble. personalities, you know, that the other two don't really care. I'm not really sure. I'm supposed to garden <laughs> and I'm supposed to put John, it under a roof. John and Mystery say they're not going after Icon. Well, it's good to know two aren't. But I feel there are some vocal few that want Icon out of here. There's always a vocal few that are against Icon and I don't understand it. Because he's I'm naturally just... good. And people can't handle someone who's just naturally good. I think that's good. true. I think that's absolutely true. All right, I gotta find. How do you plant? Oh, there it is. Okay, garden planter box. Mister says it makes me uncomfortable. I'm trying to write a book or whatever. I feel like doing. He's creeping all about. He's creeping. <laughs> he wishes his garden were wandering around 3 a.m. <laughs> I gotta put it inside, I think, because it says you gotta make sure that they're in season. See, these are the like the the one-liners that I would have loved for the confessional room from you guys, like little cl clips to play. Oh, I gotta go to Garmer. It's Garmer. Why is he angry? Garmer, why are you so angry? to plant a lily and a snapdragon. He wants to know what's pissed him off. Let's see. Hot-headed Sims tend to get angry for the smallest of reasons. So no one knows. You're just grouchy. Been there. I love the idea of like a grumpy, grouchy man gardening. I think that's really funny. It makes me laugh a lot. Without your hardcore washboard abs, this house wouldn't be able to count above three. <laughs> So thank God I'm still here. <laughs> That's such mystery. Without my hardcore washboard abs. I love it. I love the idea of Garmer just in him inside gardening. Paramore. Do you think it's gonna work? It is Paramore. Do you think it's gonna work inside with no sunlight? This is really funny. Imagine recording this. Imagine recording this. Is that actually her? Yeah, listen to the voice. That's 100% her. <laughs> it just makes me want to sing the real one. That's really funny. I know they get, Look at Haley getting hype about that too. I love how they get like real bands. I think that's really funny. We got we got headliner Haley hype about it. Haley's hype about Haley? You don't say. Oh. Kane says, who is that? Sounds good. That's that's Paramore, dude. That's Paramore. I fucking love Paramore. Oh, Paramore. So Uniata, huh? You know, I've never seen them live. Have you seen them live? Nope. We haven't seen them live. Nope. How have we not seen them live? Because every time we might have had money to buy tickets, they break up and we can't go <laughs> see them. Quumbu. I'm going to have to rush the stage. That's so yeah, that and the restraining order situation. <laughs> Correct. I yeah. love you! I like... Who is this old fat man? <laughs> Get him off the stage. Get him off the stage. No! I love you. What's the, the family guy? Katie. Katie. What? <laughs> well, never mind. Then. <laughs> Paramore. Who does Bailey's entrance music? I don't think so. Is that true? Is that true? Is it? I don't think so. Bailey? Her? Maybe her new one? No. Is it? Really? <laughs> I know she Who wanted them to Bailey's perform. Who does WWE entrance music? I feel like I would have picked that out. Role model? Yeah, it's, not, it's called role model. We're going to play it. We're going to copy this, right? It's, the volume's off. Does it say who? It's, just, it the, it's just the YouTube video. It doesn't credit anybody. It should credit somebody. Though. Def Rebel? Def Rebel. It's Def Rebel, dude. Is it? 
I know she wanted Paramore to perform because she's like an uber fan. Um, and they they couldn't make the stars align for it to happen at Mania. Which that honestly for her Mania moment this year, that cherry on top would have been having Paramore perform. Yeah. I, I continue to think about this year's Mania. 40 was really, really good. Like it was a really good Mania. And I, I know a lot of people, I don't know if they were happy about it, but this year's was really good. Kane bought tickets for Evanescence and Hailstorm. That'd be a good show. I saw Hailstorm uh, like 13 years ago. They were really good. Isn't Hailstorm the, the the band with the lady? There's a lot of bands with the lady, but yes, they are one of them. Okay. Are <laughs> they are they foreign? With Lizzie Hale. Are they foreign? No, oh, she's from here. Why did I think they were from like Australia or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. She's really tall. <laughs> Def Rebels ass, except for Samoan songs. Mania Forty was kind of bad. Night two turned it around. I don't know. We lost all our viewers, apparently, on our opinions. Jesus Christ. We got six people now. Where'd everybody yeah. go? That happens. It's all right. All them bots gotta go. It must have been. It's the only way to get them good at photography is to take random pictures of shit. So Selene is based off a band called Scarlet, a Swedish band. Nightwish? <laughs> yeah, Nightwish. <laughs> Yo! Connor, thanks for the resub. She got permission from Paramore to use their song, Summer at WrestleMania. Is that what it was? That was for a promo package, though, wasn't it? Niara. <laughs> he says, I'm here. <clears throat> oh, good. How you feeling, Connor? Today's mail has been delivered. We got bills. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my telephone bills? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> What's the name of that song? Bills, bills, bills. Who sings it? Dusty John. Good job. I'm proud of you. What's up, Briggs? You never really paid for subs, and you went countless months without it. Paid for what? Paid for subs. Kind of thing. I never really paid for subs. Like, I mean, if you got Amazon like Prime, sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. If you got Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch Prime sub every single month, though. And honestly, it's a sweet bonus. Send it our way. <laughs> who, la who just laughed like butthead? <laughs> Your shoulder's killing you? What'd you do? You don't think you started until about a year again then it was gifts? Ah. I'm just what's his face gonna die. Thanks. Check it out. Check it out! 12 no, hours. Thank you, Miss Ramon. We appreciate that. 100% of the... 60% of the time, all the time. Every time. Every time. What movie is that from? What movie is that from? I know what it's from. Do you? Yeah. No, I don't believe you. Is it from Anchorman? <laughs> it is from Anchorman. They were asking you the other night how you felt about some comedies, how you felt about Anchorman. I said, I'm very picky about comedies, but Anchorman is one of the ones that I actually do like. Yeah, I'm, I'm very picky about comedies. So. Yeah, I don't, a lot of the ones that people think are like super hilarious, best comedies ever, I don't think are that funny. Such as Step Brothers. That movie was yeah, terrible. Yeah, that movie was fucking terrible. And the the stupid Bachelor movie, the fucking Hangover, yeah, dumb. Hangover. Not funny. Dumb. That one had a few moments. Dumb. A few moments. But then I like things like Super Troopers. Super Troopers is fucking hilarious. It will never not be hilarious. That's okay, though. No, it's so funny. The Nosferatu trailer? I have not. Send it uh, in the DNA channel. Check it out. Nope, we got a ghost walking around. Oh, who is it? I think it's... Seth. Is it Seth? Ghost Seth. Oh no, it's Mark. Mark Caliber. Oh, Mr. Mark. Ghost. Welcome back, Mark. Ghost Caliber. Look, even his ghost has his tattoos on his face. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. 
awesome. <laughs> Go full robotic. Yeah, just become Robocop, dude. Uh oh. Vic Vac's not working. Who's a what now? Vic Vac, our vacuum. Is that what oh, you call it? I call it Vic Vac, like TikTok. I thought it was funny. Oh. Can't have Sharknado because Sharknado was our shark vacuum and that's not a shark, so I can't use it anymore. Yeah. <sighs> Last one to finish the bottle of syrup has to pay for breakfast. <laughs> You're never going to get anywhere with them thin little bird lips you got going over there. Are we quoting the movie now? That's Super Troopers, yeah. They have a race at the breakfast to drink an entire bottle of syrup. That's just not a And uh, the rookie loses, and Ramathorn says it's because he's got thin little bird lips. I just never got into that movie. It's so fucking it funny. I, I could watch it 3,000 times and still have the same fucking stupid ass jokes See, every like, goddamn time. My style of comedy is like Napoleon Dynamite. Like, that movie's hilarious. N Napoleon Dynamite was dumb to me. Like, no. it's, now it's like nostalgia funny because, like, I've seen it so many times and it was just that period of time and it was really funny now. But, like, the first time I saw it, I was like, I don't get it. Is it the 90s? Is it the 70s? Why is Uncle Rico dressed like that? Why is everyone dressed like that except for the girls? And why are they dancing to, like, Britney Spears or the Backstreet Boys or whoever? It doesn't make any sense, and I don't understand it. It's because of the, where like the location it. is. It but was... even the dress. Her dress is 80s. She does fucking glamour shots, but then the girls are listening to the Backstreet Boys? I don't understand it. it Weren't you behind on, like, the latest stuff? No, it, not that badly. Nah, I <laughs> like, I don't, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't get it. Uh, if you ever come terminating or going back in time, making sure a lot of my friends' parents use protection because I was cursed with super annoying friends. Oh, yeah, that's a thing <laughs> that you could do. Uh. Yes, I do hate Mudvayne. Mudvayne is marine metal, and marine metal sucks ass. All metal sucks ass. No. But specifically Mudvayne and Slipknot. No. They suck ass. Yes. No. Yes. No. How did all, we manage to get married? All marine metal sucks ass. I mean... You're never going to find, like, a carbon copy of yourself unless you make one. Let's be and there real. is, in, there is like, overlapping, like, stuff that we do like. Like, most, like, uh, 2000s, what they would call emo, even though most of it I don't really think is emo music. We like a lot of that stuff together. Yeah, the hate for metal in general is wrong. Listen to baby metal. Theo loves, Theo loves baby metal. Our five-year-old loves baby metal. Loves baby metal. He also loves Rob Zombie. Yeah. They were playing that upstairs earlier. I can't stand metal music. I cannot. It's terrible. It's terrible. There isn't... I have yet to hear an actual good metal band. Bring the Horizon. But they count as metal? I don't know, it's man. Shitty heavy metal. Yeah, it's not heavy metal. They, I mean, they and are, they though. They, t -shirt. They, they come from Screamo. Like yeah, but Screamo isn't metal. metal, in my opinion. Screamo is emo that screaming. I don't know. And and I don't love all Bring Me the they Horizon were like either, too, to be fair. Like, early Bring Me the Horizon? No, not listening to it. It's terrible. Kill Switch there's like, Engage? There's like three albums that are that are good, in my opinion. Just open your ears a bit. Man, I've been trying for years. You know, here's the thing, too. She just doesn't like anything that's not what she listened to in the, the 90s and that early 2000s. No, that is a fact. That's not true. I have, no, I have started to listen to stuff like AGR. I love AJR. Do new. you, though? You don't. I do. You don't. You're a liar. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. You're just pretending so you don't seem weird. <laughs> yes, because listening to AJR like, would make me not weird. <laughs> she'll like pop and like pop punk. Like, good Charlotte, early good Charlotte. But then I'll introduce other pop punk, and she's like, no, this is terrible. She'll listen to Newfound Glory. I listen to, like, four good Charlotte songs. I don't think that's fair to say that I'm a big good Charlotte fan. I don't like four good Charlotte songs. I just don't think you like anything unless you, you find it or like it yourself. I don't think that's true at all. Because 100%. I used to be adamantly against Bring Me the Horizon. And... Those few albums won me over, and I actually like that. I like. I had to songs. twist your arm to get into Twenty One Pilots. Yeah, that's valid too. And I listen, and I and I changed my mind on them. Uh, Thriving Ivory is another one. I was against them because I didn't like the guy's voice. Listen to him more, and I like it. Mm. So that's mm. not true at all. That's not true. Mm. Metal is terrible, and marine metal is the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. 
I've tried though for years, guys. I had to take her Slip sister at Olympus Biscuit because yeah, she wouldn't go. Would go. Mm -mm. We had a good time. Mm -mm. We were, Amanda, the, we were the talk more, of the arena. I was gonna say Miranda's more like Amanda's more. Uh, what do I want to say? Go with the flow than I am. I would have had to get drunk to enjoy oh. myself, and I and you don't like it when I get drunk, so. <laughs> no, because you get like clingy and weird and clingy. talkative. <laughs> You hang on me. You want to make out, and I'm like, no, you're slobbery. What are That's you doing? That's such a valid, valid description of me when I'm drunk. It's kind of funny. It's, like it's too much. It's too much. Get away from me. I hate you. So clingy. It's so clingy. <laughs> Normally, you want nothing to do with me. Now you. You're obsessive, and I'm like, that. Mm -mm. <laughs> that's why it works when I don't ever want you to touch me because it drives you nuts. What's up, Emrita? Yeah, imagine passing up on Limp Bizkit. That's what I'm saying. Like, how many opportunities just, do you have to listen to them I, live? I, I and it was a good show. If it had been Limp Biscuit with a different group of openers, I might have considered. Oh, the opening it. was not great at all. Yeah, I might have considered it, but I could. I cannot. I cannot with the rest of that shit. No fucking way. But how often do you actually get a solid lineup of bands in one show? How often? I mean. How often? There's a difference between. Like, mm -mm. like openers that are slightly nah. off and just straight up trash bags, and that was no. Mm -mm. But how often? I mean, I have never been to a show where I actively hated oh. the openers. The only two shows that I've ever just been to where I actively hated who was opening for them was the first Bring Me the Horizon concert we went to. Those guys made me want to gouge my ears out like fucking two. What are those called? Q-tip. Mm -hmm. And um. Squamish a new tree fun. Oh, we went to an Avid Brothers concert where the opener was a fucking Led Zeppelin cover band. And I wanted to kill myself. But that's what I'm saying. How many bands, like headliners, have you gone to see where the entire lineup was fantastic? Quite a few. Jim Ray, Lawrence of Sardi. No. You're wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. Okay. It's okay to be wrong here. Okay. <laughs> We do have some crossover music, but we compromise with each other when we're in the car because Travis forces us to make force um, playlists. I, that I is an weapons. accurate description. That force. is an accurate description of what you do. Your he, job is to drive. My job is to DJ. Your he, job is to listen. <laughs> he makes us make playlists where it's 50% his music and 50%... My music. Are we sitting in the dark? No, we have a, a, a light. Uh, oh, of course, Bradley went out there and turned it on fucking country ass music. Hear it? 50 50 chance to get a good song. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, Ooh. it's not a bad deal. Rongle Piff. <laughs> And, and to be fair, I think I like more of your artists that you listen to than you like of mine. He's in a row. So, like, it's kind of like 75 25. Oh, I think that's a hard disagree. <laughs> no, I, there's more artists because you, you, your variety isn't as vast as mine. Like, there's a handful right. that I'll cringe at, like Dashboard Confessional or whatever your yokel shit is. That's about Slip. it. Because, like, I'll get down with some Baxter Boys. Yeah. I'll get down with some, that's what I call volume 1 through 337. Class Kanaya. Ten of it. Oh, this is kind of a little insulting. I'm going to start my music right now. Wasabo Gorpina. Is Lana a Swifty? So I know a few Taylor Swift songs. Um, I think I'm more. Of, mostly, I was gonna more say, of I think, one. <laughs> yeah, but I do not know anything outside of anything of hers that would be on the radio. I don't. I think she's awesome as a person. I think she. I like what she stands for. I like that she speaks out. I like that she is a woman that has stood up for herself and has become popular in her own right. Um, but music-wise, I don't know anything outside of what her hey, stuff has been on the radio. <laughs> yeah, I think I've listened to more than, than we have. At least I think more that's valid. Yeah, I think that's valid. I don't... 
I feel like I would like it if I listened to it because it's my family. I'm also a huge like Lady Gaga fan, which you would think that you'd be more of. I mean, again, as a person, yes, I like Lady Gaga, but I'm not like a huge. John is not a fan of Taylor. <laughs> what, what a shock. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't like country music. Yeah, so that's, I mean that's, that's surprising. That that one surprises me. He likes metal gonna, though. You you you're oh, not gonna. He you know, probably know. likes he probably likes marine metal. Okay. He did. He said he likes the night. He likes it. He likes Avenged Seven. But not Trash. 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 He's, he's he's so so like, mm. You know what band I hate the most in the entire We're world? Doing Habershay. Who's my most hated band? You know, and it's such unjustified hate too. I don't no, understand it's not. it. No, it's not. Okay, Watch she sees mean, like one not, live performance where he has an assault rifle hat, and, not, and she painted no, 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 this no, 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 entire no, 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 backstory. No, 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 no. You no, no, ran no, no, a background no, check at a social security no, number no, no, and all that. You did though. You was no, no, a psychotic no, no, no. stalker. But you know what's funny? You know no, what's funny? No, it's not funny. That's creepy. You know what's funny? I formed I formed my opinion off of him off of that that particular thing. Correct. But did he not turn around and fucking prove me right with those little tweet tweets that he did? I mean, but you could say that for nine out of ten men in the industry. Correct. Most men are trash. Specifically, that fucking man. If we can't. Well, we can say that here. We can't say that on Facebook. No, we'll get banned. I got banned for that. Yeah. Thanks, Zuckerberg. <laughs> fucking dick. Fucking dick. <laughs> I, I like it. I like it when they prove me right. What can I say? I can't. I can't help it when they prove me right. They prove me right, right? John's a fan of Lady Gaga and American Horror Story. Yeah. I can't watch American Horror Story. This is how rude I'm trash. <laughs> okay, John, it's not a personal attack. She just hates all men. Most men. Yes. She even hates not all men. Hashtag she, not all men. She hates me too. Hashtag. She hates me too. Hashtag not She's all men. She's using me. <laughs> For my Twitch channel uh, success. Yes, Liam, you are correct. Yes, and all correct. the bots that we have. Liam, you are, you are correct. Oh. Boss, the vase is out. But Liam guessed it. Like, it's, that's funny. Uh, well, we've t this isn't the first time we've yeah, talked we about brought this before either. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I like their music, okay? Um, His voice oh. makes me want to punch a puppy. No. 52 minutes. No. And Atticus and Theo aren't men, so therefore they don't apply. But they're gonna grow up to be. Yeah, hopefully they'll be decent then. Hopefully. Is there a window in the death box? Yes, there is a window in the death box. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a pretty predictable creature. I really, truly am. Like I. Don't... I mean, you don't sugarcoat. You're transparent. You're direct. Both of us are, though. Really, it's why we ruffle feathers with people sometimes. And all direct honesty here. We're not for everyone, and that's okay. Um, but we, we, with DNA specifically, try to make a space for good humans. Yeah. At least that's our mo here. Um, but no, we're going to ruffle feathers with our opinions. But hey. The thing about opinions, it's it's something you can have a conversation And I'm pissed on. off again. <laughs> yes, you are. You're pissed off quite often, unfortunately. Who <laughs> prefers direct? It's just easier. Because the liars out there start to find themselves trying to keep up with their own lies. And then the stories don't add up. And then it's just a mess. And you already know they're lying, and just to watch them scramble to keep up with her, it's so awkward. It's like, I feel bad for you. <laughs> so yeah, just, just be direct. You know? Well, and my, like, my whole thing is, is I, I don't dislike, yes, he's just missing work because he's stuck in the box. I don't, I don't dislike people who have differing opinions from me. You are, you are obviously allowed. No, hear me out. You are obviously allowed to have opinions that differ from mine. I, I'm not so, what do I want to say, harsh to think that everybody has to think the same thing. The issue is what the opinion is. Okay. That's where the problem lies, right? Like, we can differ on things like where should our tax dollars be spent. I Pepsi feel one way, you feel the other way. We can differ on things like... Pepsi and Coke. You know, yeah, it, like what percentage of our taxes go to things and, and Pepsi's better. 
But like, those are opinions. You're not allowed to have an opinion that is based in hating or keeping other people from being equal. That's not, that's not a, a matter of opinion. That's a matter of, of moral. And that's where I get in the most arguments is because mm -hmm. people think that they are entitled to their opinion on the matter. You are not allowed to have an opinion on somebody else's ab ability to be an autonomous individual with the same rights as you. That's not a thing. And that's where I have the problems. And that's where we get into the, the we issues. We get political tonight, folks. Oh, well, you want to talk about it? We can talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you... Mountain Dew is better. I, I'll do Mountain, Mountain Dew, is, Dew better. is... Mountain Dew and Pepsi, that's my favorite soda. That's H hands the down. only pop I'll drink is... is Mountain Dew, so I have to constantly go. I have it. always been the guy every year. I'm like, oh my god, Mountain Dew has a new flavor out. I need to try it. I need to try it. I'm always so excited. And always so gross. I mean, it's just sugar. Sugar it's water. It's gross. Sugar water. Sugar. You wanted sugar water. <laughs> what movie? What movie? I know. Do you guys know? McDonald's Sprite is spicy. Why do you always say that? It is. It's spicy. It's a scenario. It's a paid. Yeah, I, love I won't drink Sprite simply because there's no caffeine in it. I'm not going to drink sugar water if it's not giving me caffeine. I just love sugar. It'll be the death of me, but I love it sugar. It will be the death of you. I like sugar, but I'm going to consume my sugar with, like, chocolate. Like, in chocolate form. That's how I'm going to... That's how I'm going to... I filled up my water. I've already almost slammed it. I'm, like, craving sweets, and it's just water, and I want, I want sweetener. I heard my evil laugh. What is Garmer doing here? I was gonna have them. these plants are growing. I didn't know if they would grow indoors, but they are. Hold up, hold up. Coke flavored Oreos. That's a real thing. Like I thought people were joking about that. Is it a real thing here though? I mean, Icon is from here. Oh, why did I think Icon was over somewhere else? No. <laughs> oh, here he goes. What's he creeping? What's he creeping about? Oh, oh, oh. Icon's in here crying about somebody that being dead. He's creeping. He's gonna go mourn too. Icon is. Is he gonna cry or not? Icon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I think Nina was calling for uh, Will. <laughs> I'm just mocking him. I wonder if I can mock him. Make fun of him for crying. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. He's just going to sit on the bed to insult him. Garza, Tom oh, he got stinky feet. Who has stinky feet? What do you say? He got stinky shoes. This is like Kumbar. Sanzeeba to Wabe. Dismiss goodness? What does that about, mean? I don't know. Like flying an airplane? Seneca Patharjum. Patharjum. Mablaf. Lamita Noon Kim. Shane Maverick's home. Lachi. John, you like sweet tea too? Uh, I love I just sweet tea. So no. Tea does not. Tea should not have sugar. <laughs> 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 this is, yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, Unsweetened tea. That's my Unsweetened tea they called me sweet tea. Yeah, sure they did. Oh. Unsweet tea brewed in the sun. In the sun? Yeah, sun tea. Have you ever had sun I've tea? I've had, yeah, I grew up on sun tea so with tons good. of sugar. Gross. Oh, he died in 19 hours, guys. I'm done, done. Okay. Trying to over caliber, not Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the quest to become the assistant of death to grow some plants? Um, you're making ambrosia. Uh, because ambrosia used to be called the, um, what is it, the nectar of the gods, and it made you immortal if you drink it. Yeah. So you're supposed to be brewing ambrosia. Is that actually true, though? Uh, no, it's not true. Oh. I don't even know if ambrosia is real. Because, oh. like, ambrosia salad is just, like, pistachio pudding oh, and, I love pistachios. um, take a picture of the death box. It's pistachio flavored pudding and marshmallows. Oh, cool, but... Beautiful. Shibes. <laughs> yeah, you're immortal. I was close to becoming immortal, but I ended up just acquiring the devil as my uh, bitch. Oh. That's the. I don't know how else to put that, but hey, it's been a good relationship. I feel like that's it's a. Very, it's uh, basically I'm not. I mean, mm. I, I have the devil to do any and all my biddings. So, it's been a good relationship. 
What else does he have to do here? Read the Ambrosia Society of Newsletter. Select your mailbox and get mail. Uh-oh. Oh, he's <laughs> creeping by. Creeping by. <laughs> Did he, did it come? Lena says, see if that was me, I wouldn't take that personally. You wouldn't take it personally? So who got the mail? Hey, Somebody got the mail. No, 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 Garmer, we're, it's, it's beyond that level. We are ending anything they have. Garmer, you'll be taking their souls. Okay, first of all... Oh, Haley had Taco Bell. Where did that go? That good. Oh, that sounds so good. Great at the moment, hate yourself later. Yeah, it's Taco Bell. Where did he put it? Well, what the fuck? Where did he put it? That's one thing I noticed about getting older, too. I don't digest food the way I used to. <laughs> Some meals are great, other meals are like, oh, I want to stay close to home. Do you see where he put that thing? He was supposed to place that newsletter in the world so that somebody else could read it. I don't see it. He lost the fight. Loaded up on DoorDash. Yeah, we got groceries today too. I got some bananas and some melon. And the kids already ate almost one container of my melons. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, damn it. I'm, trying gotta, to eat, I'm trying to eat healthy kids and you uh, ate my food. You gotta hide the from your kids. You put the groceries away. So how is it mine? I, well, I know, but that's what I'm saying is you gotta you gotta hide it. You, you gotta hide. Oh, it. I can clean. Okay, I can clean these things. Clean. Oh, what is that? Gardening. Is that right? Abscess Freezer tooth? bony. Ow. Freezer bony. What does that mean? It's an abscess tooth. I don't know. That sounds awful, Troy. Did you rip it out? Cooking volume one. Oh, yeah, okay. What do I have to do now? Reaper rewards. <laughs> Liam got Chinese tonight. You don't like Chinese food either. That's another thing we vary on, too, is food. Um, I can eat Chinese food. Um, it's broken and infected? Good God, man. Where's the gramophone thing? Get some uh, good scotch and just chill out. Sounds awful. There it is. The tooth pain is awful. The gramophone. Here it is. The gramophone. Ooh. Dude, oh, that'd be nice. so cool to actually have one of those. I know, like an old gramophone that played stuff. Put it in here in the bedroom. You've been waiting with a chip tooth to get a dance for about a month. Insurance company's been effing you around. That sucks. I'm so sorry, Troy. Jeez. That's Garmer. He's waiting, too. Oh my gosh, he can summon the Reaper. Select. Summon the Grim Reaper from the Gramophone. This is hilarious. Somebody get Troy some scotch. Research a plant. I'm going to have him plant some more plants. He needs to plant some more stuff. Garmer says now. insurance company is even more evil than the devil. 100% mm, agree. Hard agree. Hard agree. I've had a grudge against insurance companies for as far as you've probably known me. And uh, your mom worked I mean, in the industry. She Not medical insurance. but No, yes. but still. Yes. It, it was one of those things like, so you kind of defended insurance industries? <laughs> Like, not hard defense, but you weren't as hard-pressed on them as I was. And then we had our flood. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. Hmm. Told you. Told you so. <laughs> there oh, shit. What's, what's happening here with our with our dead boy? How much long time do we have? Our dead boy. Good God. 15 hours. Starts. 15 hours. All right. Ruby. All right. What is? It, what else does he have to do? I can't get him to research a plant because he's got to get oh, from I'm hunger. Sure. I mean, I don't think there's any other way that we can other than the drowning, or if they randomly get burned or electrocuted. I think those are the. We looked this up in the last season. I think that's the only way. Yeah, I think you're right. 
I think there were DLCs or mods that you could do for additional ways, but um, those were the main ways. I think there was what, Get Struck by Lightning was one too, at very random. But the odds of triggering events like that were so unlikely. Yeah, it was. And it, you, there was one you could get abducted by an alien. Oh, if yeah, the alien the, one. You had to look in the um, telescope. Yeah. And then, like, it was like a random event would happen when you when you were stargazing or whatever. I did see that mystery. There is a new DLC coming out. Focus on death. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, like, if... We did The Sims, I think, if, well, I should say you did traditional Sims as, like, a stream. You'd probably invest in that stuff. Uh, but I've been yeah. saying for years you but. should really do it as a stream series for you. I mean, I would if people would be interested in watching it. Like, that's the thing is. That's the big catch. Do like, people, how people watch this actually? because it's them and it's not related? Like, how many people want to really watch me sit here? Like From our current community, I don't know. Especially because I got a big fucking mouth and I probably just pissed a bunch of people off. I think you'd have to build your own separate. I think we'd have bleed over, obviously, but I think it'd be a different community. It's often why a lot of the other content honestly doesn't work for your DNA. There's there's not a lot of bleed over of, as far as interests in some things. Like some people loved the classic games that we did, but not everybody. Some people like shooters, but not everybody. Yeah. So it's... With the community, it's so tough to have everyone on the same page. And We're... there's already such a community around The Sims. Like, there's people like Plumbella and, um, I can't remember the name of the other one, where they're, like, they kind of have the corner on the market. And they use mods, and they do all kinds of cool stuff, and I don't... I mean, if your motivation is be. to compete with the top streamers... Well, no, no, I'm not... not that's obviously not what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm just, you know, it would. it's something that I'd have to do regularly obvious well it'd have to be a consistent thing is how Nall got right. established it was consistent right like I mean last week we were celebrating seven years of consistent streaming like I haven't taken a break yeah in seven years and we have 2.6 thousand videos on our YouTube channel of our archives yeah, that's craziness it's just craziness. I wonder if this needs to go outside because it's not getting any sunshine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like these haven't changed in a day or two. I feel like it's all right. They're probably supposed to be outdoor. Yeah, but the problem is, is that if it's out of season, they die. Which mm. I don't know if this, this is seasons an expansion pack. That I don't know. I don't either, because like it never snows, it never rains, right? Let's move this out here and see what, what happens. You can have Haley help you design the stuff. They they like the same part of the game that I like. It's just the designing. The designing, yeah, yeah. that's the part that I, I hate the most. I don't like playing it too much. Garmer says, if I die, I have one request. What's your request, Garmer? You think you're going out tonight? We got a vote tonight. Oh, I can't put it there. I gotta move it away from the wall. Let me haunt the absolute shit out of people. We have no control over the ghosts. Yeah, the ghosts are ghosts randomly appear when they appear. And they do come in and they fuck shit up. They make like the fridge not work, which is really annoying. Yeah, and we can't control what they do. Mm -hmm. We can interact with them, but we can't command them, if you will. Right. Liam says we can vote you out if you want. <laughs> I think Liam's fucking with Garmer is one of my favorite things <laughs> on anything that we do. Gladly vote for Garmer. Same for the future. Haley's made some wild houses. So here's, here's okay, we got five people left in the house. Mm -hmm. Here's how the rest of the season is going. We're on episode five. This is only a seven episode season. After tonight, four people remain. So episode six, we're voting one more person out. Episode seven is the finale with three people left. Ideally, we need those three people to submit, again, a clip to plead why they should be winning the season. It's not a requirement, but it will help plead their case on why they should win season three. If none of them submit, that's on them. If part of them submit, again, that's on them. But you guys are ultimately deciding at the end of episode seven, voting for the winner of season three on that episode only. The prize is a championship opportunity at Devil's Night. 
Now keep in mind, if there is one cast member that is not on our current roster. I'll let you guys figure that out. I'm sure you can. So if they were to win the season, they don't get a prize because they're not on our roster. So think about how you're voting people out tonight, your new motivations. Think about who has the best odds to win in a final three scenario and who needs to get to that final three because there's only five people left here. So I think tonight of all the pivotal votes is one of the most important ones. Of course, Bradley would eat meal that's been left out on the bar all night long. <laughs> a veggie burger for breakfast. What? That's no surprise. Bradley's the beer bellies are scaring him. Is the ghost, can the ghost that's, swim? I don't know, but that's what it sounded like. Or was that him kicking his feet? Oh, it could have been him kicking his feet, I suppose. Bradley's just chilling. He's he's having a good time. He's the happiest 25-year-old I've ever seen. Happiest 25-year-old. He is. He's aging gracefully. To be fair, there was a guy senior year of high school was already fully bald. I mean, that's not something you can control. It's not something you can control. But it's just like, damn, you're a senior and this is happening already. It's all genetics, man. It's completely genetic. Fruk, Chesson A. Clonkis, Lobodine. Who's the final three prediction? Honestly, I can't, I, I don't know. I can't predict that. I could tell you that I'd support Icon going to the final three just because of how excited he was. To Zappu, be on this show. Fame, Lamina, Rabani. I support Icon and I support um Parsifay Pro. I also gotta support the armor. I support anybody that watches every week. That is how I base my vote. And then when it gets down to people that are all watching, if that comes to pass. Um, I don't know, I go with how my head feels at that time. Yeah, so I mean I could support Garmer, Icon, Porter. Yep. That's a good final three in my opinion. Yep. I didn't think Vasa was the one that should have gotten voted out last week. Um, that was a surprise. Yeah. But from a Grav character perspective, I don't necessarily want any of you to win. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'll be honest, Garmer should win, but I'd feel really bad for him to have to lay down when he faces me when I cash in Money in the Bank, take the title from Liam, and head to Devil's Night and embarrass the devil on Devil's Night. She I'd hate to do that. <laughs> she gets shady later. I'm always shady. What's up, Cody? Thank you Hi, for the sub. 59. Damn. He's on a 59 month streak. Do you have the highest streak right now? It's crazy. <laughs> so if, if you want just how I would play match. everything out, Jay that's, that's right. how I'd play he's, everything out. He's gonna die, guys. Six minutes. Oh, oh. Approaching Run five minutes. That's wild. Here he goes. Here he goes, guys. <laughs> There was a fish that flew in the air when it happened. <laughs> what the? <laughs> All right, here it goes. The Reaper. All right, people. Go chat it up with Death. Mm -hmm. We gotta put a door on this building if you're gonna go chat with Death. Hold on. I can't do it until after Voss is gone. So give me just a minute. Oh. Uh -huh. Fast forward a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Speed through it. No big deal. <laughs> he wants to chat. <laughs> Did I walk in and Brit? I don't, I don't know. We just want to see the Garmer Did and Did I walk in on Brit or something? Oh, I don't know. Why are you embarrassed? Usually it's because you went walked in on somebody in the bathroom. He's, he's embarrassed to see Reaper here. He doesn't know uh, how to act. 
the armor's idle. Alright, door is back on the building. In just a couple minutes here, we're gonna. Oh, 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 oh where's oh, he oh, off oh, to? Oh. Yo. You forgot to turn. Just calm your titties. Okay. They're calm. They're calm. They're calamity. They're calm. They're not perfect. Okay. What's his nuts there? What's his nuts? Bassa. All right, Garmer, where did where did where did death go? All right. He ran away. He's like, oh no, Garmer Cod. You want to throw, declare him your enemy? The uh, bastard they... ran away. You want to declare him your enemy? Are they enemies, though? Despite being eliminated, honor to be part of the show. Hell yeah, Caliber. This yes. is, it's an honor We're glad privilege. to have you. I'm not trying to be as assistant. We're, that's not canon. That's just, that's just game fun. Do you want to be, do you want to declare him as enemy or do you want to do something else? You got all those choices. You need to rile him up. By throwing a bomb at him, apparently. <laughs> Do something else. Okay, uh, well, let's rile him up then, and then we'll jeer him. Jeer. While we're doing that, I'm going to set up the... Oh, jeer isn't there. Start a preposterous hole. For who is going home. Who is going home. Oh, there we go. Wow. <laughs> 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 Get off my lawn! Rainic Wombur! The answer to this, huh? Algoriz Braniqua. Oh, shut up, Paolo! Gribix. Woohoo, with death? I don't think you can. Oh, yeah, do it. I don't think you can. One bit donation. Hip hip. Hooray! Can you like hate fuck somebody? Because that's what this would be. Because he's red. You couldn't. You could not have sex with him. Sakaba Maparu. Can you romance him? Well, not with Garmer. They're so far in the red. It would take hours for them to like each other. I could try it with someone else, I guess. Oh, oh, oh! You pissed him off so much he left. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now. Share us out. Let people know in the locker room. Let people know worldwide. We are voting for an elimination from season three here. We got five house members in Legends House remaining. One of these five is going to the box tonight and then will be eliminated during episode six. <laughs> and then that means episode six will have our final elimination, determining then a final three, which will pick one single winner. From. So we're only two episodes remaining in season three here. So votes are coming in. Let the locker room now. It's time. No, now no. No, now no. 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 <laughs> nah, no. You know, no. You know, no. Words are hard. Okay. Tell him. Soldier boy, tell him. Soldier boy, tell him. Why not that crank that? Why not crank that? Why not something? Did he have hits after that song? Um, that's a fantastic question that I don't know the answer to. I think question Garmer's chat. Going, Garmer's going to. Oh, doing? I thought he was going to kick over the trash can, but. There has been zero sexual activity in the season. That is that is true. Honestly, it's because Icon's been here. He doesn't want to see any of that shit. Icon's the Legends House cock block. He's the saint. You got pure goodness in Icon, and then you got the devil himself in here. There should have been more drama. Huh. Mass is Sasha's fest. I mean, What's nothing, nothing fucking, wrong with some swordplay, bro. Is that the gramophone that's playing that funky, creepy-ass music? I like it. Summon the Grim Weeper. Let's do it. <gasps> Let's see what Dark happens. Wasusa, plog, limlop, and chui. Yo. Oh, that's one of your... Did it work? Yeah, because now I've changed <laughs> to meet or socialize with him. Okay, well, where, where did he go? Where, where is he? Did you summon him? 
-hmm. Where is he at? There he is. There he is. He's in the kitchen talking to Porter. Yeah. Oh God. He's talking to Maybe, Porter. Will Porter fuck the, fuck the ghost? Can we make them? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, does Porter want to first? We need to get him fast. That's so. fair. That's fair. <laughs> When Porter comes back, he needs to tell me if he'd be okay fucking the devil. The Grim Reaper. It's not the devil. Haha! <laughs> so, so! Yeah! Awkward! Just called him a vacuum. In the meantime, compliment his style. Old pickup line. Burrito! Ho ho! Is it called a burrito? Ho ho! Oh, oh, oh. Ah, he says yes, okay. <laughs> that was a cap. Umbraza? Cap uh, oh, he's feeling flirty! <laughs> he's feeling flirty! Lemba? Stigushim! Swing between life and death. Sweet Magdo! Trevay! Burrito! Ho ho! Septo! Tachitini! Darpza. I think they're hitting it off. Oh, did he just? Oh my God! They're blowing yeah. each other. Yeah. Yo. Can you lose the devil? Oh, oh the let's find out. Let's find out. Please, my no. With the gift to bring. Let's go. Zarfwim, Inga Chedge, Brina, Josa, Flubagorg, Frieza, Brinoi, Nostaish, Chima Vimpa. What do you do with that? Ask about romantic boundaries. I like that. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you don't fuck death, death fucks you. So, that's kind of how I feel about... Warma. Why did you just like zip into the chair like that? Why are they talking to each other from across the room like that? Use a stress ball with death. If Porter gets to fuck that, it's gonna be the best day of my life. Yep, bleak. Kiss the hands. I just did that. He's gonna kiss his hands next, I think. Oh. With that gramophone, you can summon me whenever you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting. Oh, Please don't leave. Please don't leave. Oh, he's kissing his hand. Oh, oh my god. A pago. Sexy pose? Please, sexy pose. Look at, oh, look at Garber fucking he's creeping. walking by. He's stealing the shot. <laughs> can, we, can we do it? Can we do it? The music just makes it better, too. No? Okay, no. I think you have to do it from the person menu. <laughs> I'm gonna spam the gramophone. Oh. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh, oh. Oh. Why is he embarrassed? Why is he embarrassed? Because <laughs> Icon's sitting there. This was an awkward conversation. Okay. Icon's just like, what are y'all talking about? I love how Icon's sitting in the middle of it. Like, <laughs> Self-deprecating joke. This is my favorite. It's because he's embarrassed. That's his way of like handling his embarrassment. Smooth recovery. Oh no! Heart's going down. No. No! Come on! Put that Porter charm on. Come on. He likes the flirting. He flirts back. Is that what oh, the flirting with death comes from? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Ask to accept physical romance. Let's go. It said excluding woohoo, though. Oh, no. Why did it say that? I don't know. Maybe you can't fuck that, man. No. The only way to woohoo and have a baby with death is cheese. Ah, yeah. how do you? Could you imagine having a death baby? Well, but you have to specifically choose to have a baby. You should be able to just separately fuck death. 
ask or mooker to pursue their dream job. <laughs> huh. Okay, well, I'm not wasting any more interactions on this. Haley says, y'all vote so weird. <laughs> Yeah, the no voting is odd this season. Oh, is he going back into his gramophone? Oh, he's talking to himself in the mirror. That's really weird. Oh my god, he can, take, he can take a selfie with death. Hold on. Can't he? No. Take photo with... Oh, come on. No. Can you take a photo of him? Hundred bit donation, hip hip. Hooray! Sorry. Yeah, he can take a photo of him. Rimple school? Oh. <laughs> when don't you? Why? Why'd you stop? Stop. You're not gonna eat. Get out of here. You're gonna take a photo of. Death. Let's go. What? Oh. Where is he? Really? <laughs> okay. Guess not. Well, he's just not there? I don't know. Did the door close? <laughs> <There's> no. <laughs> See how the doors? He's like oh, stuck on the door. Yeah. Weird. Okay, let's try it now. Stop. I don't know why I want him to do this so bad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a pose. We do have our next. pictures you get up to five so oh. we do have our next elimination you guys have spoken one vote for icon six percent five votes for brit king 28 percent with 67 percent of the votes 12 of them to be exact bradley has been voted out of season three during episode five here. All right. So, Mr. Bradley, your time is over. You all the week asleep. Goodbye. Isn't that how it goes? It is. Bradley didn't do too bad this season. Honestly, I thought he'd go deeper. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I love that he went in his box, in his skivvies i think that's my favorite part he looks like he's about to be abducted by aliens though. he kind of does like he has a story about it so he's gonna go meet with tom DeLong, and they're gonna talk about it <laughs> Woo! oh look these have grown yes. fire in the sky doing? fuck that movie that movie's messed up. <laughs> that was the only movie that ever scared Travis. It gave me nightmares as a kid, man. Every time the car like, would be turning down the street, the headlights would go through my uh, bedroom windows at night. And I'd be like, oh my god! They're here! <laughs> you poor fucking thing. That's terrifying. I shouldn't have watched that movie as a kid. No, you shouldn't have. It messed me up. <laughs> but yet I watched like Aliens and Terminator, and I was fine with that. I don't know. Because I, I think the whole premise of it, based on a true story, I really took that to heart. Yeah. And the guy's name is the same as yours. And the, yeah, the lead that gets yeah. abducted also shares my name. So yeah. it's like, oh, fuck, this is weird. I like that. You survived America Tribune? What? Wait, what? Oh. I can't kind of survive. He's thankful. Oh. oh, walking around like a creeper again. I gotta message you. You message me? I have my notifications off, I'll be honest with you. I'll check my messages, though. He watched his first legit horror movie. Would you have him watch? I'm curious. He took it well. That's good. That's good. <laughs> God, 
Gosh, we're getting really down here, aren't we? No. <laughs> Does he need to fight? Oh. Pet Cemetery? That's a pretty spooky one. Like, there, like there's... the original one? Yeah, is it the new one or the the old school yeah. one? Yeah. I mean, that that's a pretty raw movie, especially if you've dealt with pet death. Well, and as, as a kid, like... Well, his kid's what? Camden's oh, what, nine so... now? Unga. Yeah, but doesn't that kid get smoked by the semi-truck? Yeah, so he's nine yeah, now. The original. The original is probably less scary than the new one yeah. was, but yeah. The first right. one, the first one is is. Now, if you were watching like is, having him watch Hostel or like Saw, I would probably pass some judgment on you. <laughs> That's a bit much. But I, I think, yeah, Hostel that'd be a raw one. To... I've never seen it. That's on my list of uh, refuse. Refuse to watch. Hostel? You've never seen Hostel? Mm -mm. That's that's on my list if I refuse to watch it. Yeah. Frankly, the um, fucking Terrifier movie should be on that list, too. Oh, let's just wait till you've seen number two. No, I'm not watching it. Oh, we are. No, no not watching night. it. No, we're not. <laughs> I'm not watching it. I'll just put the pillow up and I won't watch a single thing. Well, now you'll do pillow to face? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a dick. Honestly. On that note. <laughs> On that note. Okay. Your first horror movie is Poltergeist. I don't. I don't remember my first. Horror movie, my first honest. was um, The Craft. You were like a teenager almost. Correct. Jesus. It Christ. was at Lisa Griffiths' house. Um, she. It was her birthday party. We watched The Craft and Scream in one night, and I didn't sleep for like three days. You guys already know that's my favorite genre. What did we look at when we were moving the movies back down here? You said like 70% of my collection is horror. Yeah, the amount of shit I had to like carry downstairs that were horror movies. Yeah, it shows how much she just ignores my collection. Because I only have to watch it for two months. You don't know if he's ready for con conjuring might be. You might want to yeah, wait a little those bit. Those are scary. Those are scary, and I'm a grown ass adult, so look at that Star Wars stuff. Yeah, see, this is why we can't. We would no. spend thousands on this shit. Yeah. Well, each of these, the stuff packs are 20 bucks, right? No. And each of the expansion packs are 40. No. Yep, 40 bucks. What the fuck? Cats and dogs, 40 bucks. The game packs, I forget how much these you are. You gotta wait for discounts and sales. 20 bucks. That's insane. The stuff packs are $10 a piece. Stop it. That right there is 100 those first two rows. Haley says it's like 1200 bucks to get everything. That's mm -hmm. stupid. Yeah. Garmus is imagining owning all You, kids, you imagine owning it all, all the time. I wish I could. This is what she would spend all her money on if she... she had the ability had, to. If I had less self-control than what I have right now. The game is like a $1,500 game. That's wild. Mm -hmm. You got it. And honestly, like, you would play it. That's the thing, too. Like, mm -hmm. this this is... It's not one of those impulse investments. You would play this shit. Yeah. But I don't know necessarily I would invest on a console. Earrings of imminent demise. Now, does anyone know enough? Do these purchases... Is it exclusive to the console, or are these universal? Like, will they carry over to PC? Because if they don't, that's stupid. I would rather invest all of that on PC. Because to me, this My is... assumption is they carry over because the, this does. The game does, doesn't it? No, I don't believe so. If I'm signed in, it should. I don't know. Yeah, see, because I, I, I have a Sims, like a EA... Origins, whatever the hell it's called, where you log in before you play. Yeah, it is better on so. PC, John. It is better on PC. <laughs> this this game is the building aspect, the control aspect. Like playing with the controller is weird to get used to. It is compared to the mouse. I prefer the mouse, but that's also how I learned. So, yeah. Dharma would watch. There you go. If you did on the side, Sims. Well, maybe I will. I mean, I, yeah, maybe I will. The issue right now is just. Time. And it's always been our enemy for content. Yeah, and like the you know, I
take on the brunt of the work of the children on the nights that Travis does his show. And I don't really want to sit down here and be by myself. I think it's more fun with him, so. And I'll be honest, I don't know necessarily I'd want to sit on your regular Sims show, so. <laughs> but you, I mean, you could interact with the people. Like, yeah. that's what you do the majority of the time during this anyways, mm -hmm. so. I'm just not good at creation. Like, that's why the house looks the same, because I'm not, I don't, I'm not innovative. I don't, you know. Yeah, I mean, honestly, and John asked, when, when are we doing Seven Days to Die again? Soon, hopefully. I'd love to do another and continue that, that series. Fun. That was a lot of fun. I had fun with that, too. So yeah. our, our biggest enemy is time. It honestly is. It, if And I wouldn't trade our kids for the world, obviously. But, like, if we didn't have that... I think time would be very different. Yeah, I mean, we have Tuesday and Wednesday nights because those are not soccer nights. But Though you have those, a show on Wednesdays that you watch. Well, sometimes. So, like, sometimes, because Amanda, if right. she's coaching have, or has a game, you have then, stomp. yeah. Tuesdays have been DC on the channel, so, yeah. you know, that's his night. I'm not going to bump him if he's wanting to come back. Yeah, Mondays when, and Thursdays will open back up on the week after the 19th of October. Mm -hmm. Thursdays, obviously, are at NAW. Wednesdays have been Yuri when he's able to. Um, so, I mean, it, it, it's just really tough. Yeah. And now Sundays we're doing this, which... Yeah. This will I be guess, ending in two weeks. Yeah, when we have this done, we could do seven days to die on Sunday night. And yeah. And the kids go to bed. Yeah, we can bring that back as a replacement. But by the time Sundays. this ends, it might be out of spoopy season, so... I think it's one of those games that you can play any time, though. I mean, that's true. No, I think that's true. No, seven Days to Die. Is, that was a lot of fun. It was awesome. That weekend that we were able to play it so much, though, was because the kids were gone. Yep, that's they why were we with, played. They were with Grandma and Papa that weekend, so, like, we had nothing but free time. And we went out, like, we were children and got Taco Bell at 9 o'clock at night, yep. which was glorious. Liam's got so, a mission to have me get that, defeated. That fell off of our door that night. It was not glorious. Yeah. I did not like it. No. But yeah, it, that was fun. I do like Seven Days Today. It's been a while since we played that. Oh, you and you and Atticus it. playing Fortnite tonight made me want to go play Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, me and the boys played Fortnite today. Fun. We got third place. Yeah, it was fun. That's cool. I just want to break Travis's legs. Really, that's violent. <laughs> that's violent. But as always, honestly, we appreciate you guys supporting everything we do here. Um, we don't exaggerate numbers. 2.6 thousand videos is genuinely what we have on our YouTube. If you ever get bored, there is something for everyone on that YouTube channel. There's a game that we've played already that you probably didn't know that we played. Go scan through stuff and just click and watch and, uh, I don't know, hang out and relive some special moments. We've been at this for se over seven years now. If you like me being mouthy, or if you hate me being mouthy, there's about, I don't know how many videos on there of me getting the shit scared out of me. There's a couple dozen. And yeah. she has her own personal YouTube channel, too, if you want to see any of her content separately. She has got a playlist on the DNA page, but also her own YouTube. Um, again, our content's out there. It's just, if you guys want to go check it out, it's up to you. But we appreciate it so much. Um... We'll be back this week. I gotta figure out Queen and King of the Ring recordings, um, a house show recording, and then of course Thursday night we're back live with another episode of NAW. Get those promos in. I want to get you guys in the title picture. We got some storylines to build, and of course watch, earn, redeem, repeat. We'll see you guys, of course, Bye. next time. Until then. Just behave yourself, okay? Knock it off. Don't behave yourself. That's no problem. No, Don't listen. Be good. Be good. <laughs> Be good. Good night, everybody. Bye!